to my study at the Vicarage in Priest. It's really, really lovely to see you. Today we reach the end of our Advent journey. So today is day 25 and on the 25th day, that's the day that Jesus was born. So it's really exciting to be able to share worship with you this morning. So let's gather our thoughts and ourselves as we come to our time of worship. We place the Bible on the table and we remember God the Father, praying, Father, we are here. We are here for you. We place the cross on the table and we remember Jesus, God's Son. And so we pray, Jesus, we are here. We are here for you. Now our candle is in the middle of the Advent wreath. And so I'm going to light the four candles of Advent, one for each week in Advent. These are the weeks that have passed. And then because today is the 25th day, we light the candle in the middle of the Advent wreath. Oh, light that one again. There we go. And so we remember God the Holy Spirit. And we say, Spirit, we are here. We are here for you. I'm just going to move that forward a little bit. Our Jesse's tree journey has finished and we've traced the heritage of Jesus from Adam, the first man, right through to today, to when Jesus was born. And so my family, on our Jesse tree, we add decorations and symbols for ourselves. So this is mine, it's got my name Deborah on it. So on Christmas day, I add this symbol to my Jessie's tree. So put that there. This one, oh, this one represents my husband, Pete. He's the star of our show. So we uh, add this symbol for him. So I can pop that in the advent wreath and then I've got a son Caleb he's grown up now um, but this was what we well we still add this for Caleb and Caleb's got yellow hair so this is a little man with yellow hair and if you pull at the bottom oh, I don't think it's, uh, his arms and legs move out so that's for Caleb so these are the symbols that we add to our Jesse tree at home as we remember that our story links with the story of Jesus and that we're all part of God's family and part of this great history together. I've got something else to show you today. I've got a different sort of advent calendar and every day you add some of the different characters during advent. So I thought I would share this with you I don't know I'm going to be able to do this very quickly. I've had a little practice. But we've got all the characters from the story of the day when Jesus was born. So we've traced Jesus' family. And now we're going to look at the story. So number one is here. And that's the big star. Two is another star. There we go. Three is a star. Ooh, the beginning of this is easy. So three is a star. And four. And five. There we go. Now, I need to find... Oh, there we go. That's a bit lucky. Number six is an animal for the manger. Oh, here we go. I've got a number seven here. You can probably see these. It's a bit tricky. There's a sheep. I've got eight for another cow. Nine. Look, I've got a little flock coming on down here. Don't know there. 
Now let's see, part 10. So that's the manger that Jesus was put to bed in when he was born because there was no room. So I've got to tell, I'm looking for, here we go, number 11. I've got a wise man. Oh, he's a bit wonky, isn't he? Maybe he'll stand up in a minute. I've got number 12. What do you think that is? Number 13. Okay, hopefully they'll hold up together. Number 14. And number 15. So we've got three wise men. 16. We've got three shepherds. Oh, and we've got some little animals now. 17. 18, 19, 20. But we're still missing some important people, aren't we? Ah, 21. We've got some angels. 22. One or two more angels. We've got Joseph. And then the last one is Mary with the baby Jesus. So that's a rather nice picture form of the journey of Advent. It's a little bit different to Jesse's tree, but this is the story that we celebrate at Christmas. I've put all the Jesse tree decorations in St Chad's Church. So do you want to come with me? And we'll go and have a look at how lovely it looks inside church. So come along quickly. So here I am in church. It's very, very cold uh, because we haven't got the heating on at the moment. Uh, but here is our completed Jesse tree. So um, the church is open on Sunday. So you would be very welcome to pop in um, if you wanted to come and have a look at it. You'll be able to see on the church Facebook page when it's open if you want to come and see. And here is the Advent crown. And because we haven't celebrated Christmas in church yet, the white candle is still waiting to be lit, which will be done on Christmas Day. And you can see all the different decorations hanging on our tree. I don't know if you've got a favorite story and you can spot the decoration from your favourite story. But the church is looking quite Christmassy. And if I spin us round, you can see our lovely tree. lovely time sharing the stories of Jesse's tree with you and uh, we're going to miss not seeing you every day that's for sure so the whole team I know would want to wish you and your family and everybody in school a very very happy Christmas and we look forward to seeing you when you're back in school and we look forward to sharing more collective worships with you so shall we put our hands together and close our eyes if you'd like to, or if you want to focus on the lights of the tree 
Um, I don't have a candle in front of me now, but we've got these beautiful lights as we come to God in prayer. So dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that you were born on earth. We thank you for the history of the family that you were born into. We thank you for our families. We thank you for our school family and for everyone in school who cares for us, who looks after us and who teaches us. And we pray that we will know your love in a very special way this Christmas time. Amen. So we say together the words that Jesus taught his followers, that his followers have been saying in prayer for 2,000 years. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So may God bless you today and throughout the Christmas holidays. We look forward to seeing you soon and pray that God will be with you. Take good care. Bye bye.